The history of circles and the origin of pi. Circles have been around since the creation, a fact that even if you believe in the Big Bang Theory, is still relevant. Nature gives us all the examples of circles that are available to mankind. From the sun, moon, and some flowers. And early men have also considered that the circle is a powerful symbol in nature with its infinite symmetry. While in early science, particularly in geometry, astrology, astronomy, and most medieval scholars believed that there is something perfect or divine that can be found in circles, the Greeks presumed that the Egyptians were the pioneers of geometry, and specifically circles, for their discovery of gears and wheels. But even before the Egyptians and Greeks used to measure circles in their construction, the Babylonians had their own inaccurate way of measuring the circle. The idea of measuring the circle gave birth to a formula that is still sensational up to this day, the pi. The pi is the constant ratio of the circumference to the diameter, which is the measurement of 3.14 in all of the circles. However, before the appearance of pi and 3.14, prior records in history already showed some imperfect ways people have used in measuring the circle. For example, Babylonians estimated it to be 3.125, the Egyptians 256 over 81, and in the Old Testament, it was 10 cubits across and 30 cubits around for the circular basin in Solomon's temple. However, in 212 BC, Archimedes of Syracuse made a breakthrough history. Through a series of trials, he finally found the closest approximation of 22 sevenths that is still used today. Years went on, and then the Chinese found a simpler fraction of 355 over 113, which gave the 6 decimals for pi. In terms of its symbol, Many conclude that the Swiss-born mathematician Leonard Euler introduced pi for common use in 1707. But a year before he popularized it, William Jones, a Welsh mathematician, published his second book called Synopsis Palmariorium Mathesaeus or The New Introduction to Mathematics where he believed that pi was an irrational number, an infinite, non-repeating sequence of digits that could never totally be expressed in numerical form except for a platonic symbol. And so, he used pi in 1706 because it is the first letter of the Greek word patrimos, meaning perimeter. The history of circles in a nutshell proved how many years it took men to complete the pie as we know today. Through the years of study and beard rubbing, we acquired the knowledge about pie that will continue to move on as the generations advanced. Truly not only in the field of mathematics, but in all other areas, pie is evident to be a useful tool in solving real-life problems. <laughs>